Hi, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate linear functions. Um, I have been given two functions, f of x equals 2x plus 1 and g of x equals negative 3x minus 1. And when it asks you to evaluate, all it's asking you to do is to take and plug in the number that they give you for the variable in the equation. So the letter on the outside tells you which equation to look at. So since this says f of negative 5, that tells me to look at my f of x equation, and I'm going to replace all of my x values with negative 5. So instead of writing x, I'm just going to simply plug in negative 5, and then simplify my answer. So this would give me negative 10 plus 1, which is negative 9. So f of negative 5 is negative 9. And the advantage of using function notation is this tells you your x and your y coordinate. So it's saying that when x is negative 5, my output is negative 9. So that would give me my ordered pair if I had to graph this. For the next one, g of negative 2, this one tells us that we want to use our g equation. So I'm going to look at this equation. I'm going to replace x with whatever value is here. So this one tells me to replace my x value with negative 2. So I would have negative 3 times negative 2 minus 1. And so if I simplify this, negative 3 times negative 2 would give me positive 6. And positive 6 minus 1 ends up giving me 5. So this is telling me that when I plug in negative 2 into my g equation, my output is positive 5. So this graph goes through the ordered pair negative 2 comma 5. Sometimes in the real world we are dealing with functions, like it may be a cost function or a profit function or something like that, and it may ask us to like maybe there's a change in the price of something it goes up by an increase of two dollars so um we may want to come up with a new function for overall so sometimes it tells us to replace our variable with another linear function so all we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing that we did when we were evaluating with numbers but this time we're going to replace the x in our function with x plus two so i would just have two times x plus two and the plus 1. So the only thing that changed is we replaced x with x plus 2. We would just simplify this. And so to simplify, I would distribute into the parentheses. So I would be left with 2x plus 4 plus 1. And my resulting in the, or equation or function is 2x plus 5. So when I change it to f of x plus 2, my output is 2x plus 5. This would give us a new function to work with, um, which can be very advantageous if you're dealing with business functions or something like that. So sometimes we do have to input other equations into the given function. The last example that we're going to look at is the same thing. So we have g of 3x minus 1. That's telling me that in my g equation, I want to replace this x right here with 3x minus 1. So the negative 3 and the negative 1 do not change. I keep the negative 3 on the outside of the parentheses, and I keep the negative 1. So the negative 3 and the negative 1 do not change. My x is going to be replaced with the 3x minus 1. And then I simply simplify this equation or this function. So if I distribute in, I would be left with negative 9x plus 3 minus 1. And so my final equation would be negative 9x plus 2. So sometimes we must replace into our given function a new um, value for x that is also a linear equation and it will just give us a new output. And so sometimes this is advantageous um, when things are changing, you're using a, an existing formula, but something like in your cost or something changed. And so instead of having to redo it every single time, you just rework the function overall. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have suggestions for other topics that you would like for me to cover, please let me know.